We have a very important event, I think probably the most important event of the entire festival, and that would be honoring our instrumental and vocal scholarship winners. I said it yesterday and say it again, probably the biggest purpose of this event beyond honoring Glenn Miller and his legacy and enjoying the Glenn Miller Orchestra and all the other fine musicians that grace our presence would be all of our scholarship winners and competitors from yesterday. The reason is simple. They are Glenn Miller's legacy. It's not about all of us that like the records and like the music and collect this and collect that. We'll be gone someday, but they'll still be here carrying forward that legacy as great musicians. So now we'll have them come forward and we're going to honor them. The process is this. I'm going to turn the microphone over in a moment to Jay Klein. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the significance of the scholarship program and how everything works. And then Glenn Miller Wolf and Oliviana Marie will each welcome and pay tribute to the individual winners from this year. So at this point, let's turn things over to Jay Klein. It was a privilege to be able to spend yesterday all day long with the uh, scholarship uh, students who were competing to win the two scholarly, uh, scholarships in the instrumental and vocal competition yesterday. Um, we've been doing this, it says in your program, for 48 years. And over those years, we have honored uh, people from all over the, the nation and and with the scholarships that are presented each year. Um, the way this works, each year, there are people who send in their information uh, and apply for uh, a place to compete in this competition. We choose 10 vocalists and 10 instrumentalists each year to compete to come to Clarita, Iowa and participate in the competition. Of those 10, there will be three instrumentalists and three vocalists who will win one of the and you'll hear more about that later on. Um, each This year, we have, again, three people who have, um, who will be receiving the scholarships from the instrumentalists and vocals. You'll see those in a few minutes. Um, but I also want to um, give your attention to a piece of paper in your program that may have fallen out or is loose. And that's an opportunity for you to, to contribute to this wonderful program. So if you'd like to do that, um, you can uh, fill out that form. You can probably talk to uh, Chris, who's over in the uh, ticket sales office, and uh, make a contribution toward this very valuable program. I'm not going to say anything more because it's not about me, but I'm going to turn this over to Glenn Wolf, who will be uh, presenting the uh, instrument. Uh, he'll be a sophomore 
at a very highly selective college for performing arts, the Shenandoah University Conservatory in uh, Winchester, uh, Virginia. No apparent connection to the town down the road that I can determine. Uh, Kendall traveled here, I'm sorry, Wade, as uh, he goes by Wade. He'll travel here from Greenville, Tennessee. And uh, I'll have him introduce himself and tell us a little about the music he's going to play.
CD series, played for him as a small child, as the beginning of his passion for classical music. And for reasons you're about to discover, uh, Sam's hoping for a career as a concert pianist. In addition, he's composed a number of pieces, and uh, not unusual these days, you might find him on YouTube. So I'll ask Sam to uh, come on in and introduce his music and uh, himself. No? It's not here. He's 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 here. Montclair, New Jersey, 
was born into a virtual Head Start program in music. Uh, both of the parents are professional musicians. And as such, Daphne has enjoyed many rich musical experience, both as a listener and as a performer. As she states in her application, my destiny is to continue on this path and make this a career. Her plan is to major in violin performance in college while continuing to study percussion, composition, and possibly acquiring the skill for the skills uh, to become a luthier, who is a, an artist who repairs musical instruments. So let's hear this young woman perform. Daphne, please uh, introduce yourself and the piece you'll be playing. I was actually asked to give a little background behind this piece. So, Lily Boulanger was the younger sister of Nadia Boulanger, and you know, everybody remembers Nadia Boulanger because she was just so prolific throughout her career. She had such a large studio of students who went on to become great musicians. But not everyone remembers her little sister, and it was because she actually passed away at the age of 24. She was sickly throughout her entire life, but that didn't stop her from being a fantastic composer. And even in the very last years of her life when she was bedridden, um, she continued to compose by dictating her compositions to Nadia, who would write it down for her. And that story reminded me of me and my siblings. I have two older siblings. And so playing this piece just really uh, stuck out to me. It spoke to me. And I'm excited to play it for everyone here today.
placed Glenn Miller Vocal Scholarship two years ago. And back then I knew a lot about Glenn Miller, but I didn't really know anything about Clarinda, Iowa. And since then I've been back three times and it really feels like a second home to me. So I'm so grateful to you all for welcoming me and my family. That was my dad who is just the accompanist right now, Tom Green. that we awarded a $100 gift certificate to each of them from his website, Piano Tracks. So congratulations. <laughs> Without further ado, I'd love to introduce the third place Glenn Miller Scholarship winner, Olivia Tice. She's from Des Moines, Iowa, 19 years old, and will be attending Drake University. A fun fact, she attended the Music Teachers National Association competition when she was deathly ill and still came in second place. So give it up for Olivia. Sky by Vittorio Gianni. Oh, 
now I'd love to welcome to the stage the first place Glenn Miller Scholarship winner, my dear friend from Los Angeles, California, Nate Schinnerer. He's 18 years old and recently graduated from the LA County High School for the Arts and will be attending Miami Frost in the fall. For a fun fact, Nate has always loved Iowa and when he was young, he played Winthrop Peru in the Music Mid. Please welcome Nate. Oh, uh -huh. 
Please stand.